So it was almost exactly two years ago that I did my audition and interview here for the doctorate program and I didn't know that the Sky Space was here and I walk out the back doors and I see this work and I'm very familiar with James Terrell so I got very excited and then the next day one of the music composition professors told me that there's an embedded sound system that's invisible to the eye and that the students of the electronic studio would have the opportunity in the future to write music for it. So I was really fortunate to be one of the first students to have that opportunity to create a site-specific work for the Sky Space. Here we have a, an incredible, really unique space. I mean, really, it's the only space like it in the world. And we are able to use it as a kind of laboratory to, to do experiments. And the experiments are constructions in light, sound, and space. It's a learning process for everybody because it's a, a new tool. The, uh, it's the first sky space that has sound in it. And how you, in, how you interact with that sound is always very different too. Like you have to learn what the new tool does and how I'm gonna use it and try to convey that to students who then come up with their own ideas that you have to realize how are we gonna how are we going to implement their ideas into the space? How are we going to make this happen? So I had four different light sensors. Each sensor had a different color filter, so it responded to different colors of light. And each color is translated into a different part of the sound. And so the four sensors all feed in data. And that data of the light intensity and color intensity is constantly morphing the sound. That way, the sky space in real time is, is generating the sound. incredible opportunity for the students to create very unique site-specific works that could not really be created anywhere else. And this space has so much character and meaning and what was a great challenge about it is trying to find ways that my sound could actually meld with the aesthetic of James Terrell rather than just write something for the sky space that just happens to be there but something that truly is generated and inspired by his work. 